Yeah, many a times. Like you're getting Richter hooked, for example. Like they get Richter hooked, you knock them up. So when they get Richter ulted, they're in the air. It's a lot harder to hit them. Things like that. Or maybe you can hit them to avoid an ability, like a ground target. For example, like a steel ult, for example. It's not always valuable, but there are situations where it is actually beneficial. Or you want to boost them over a wall, maybe. Less likely without comms, but it's possible. Bold and glasses actually saw cap. <laughs> oh, man. Look, I don't think you want to call me blind, because that means that, like, I'm better than most people, and I'm blind, so I can't even see. Bro, I was slightly too late on that. Pange. Who is that, bro? Get that guy some bitches stat. Gave up five camp. Well, I don't think he lost five camp. He just delayed it. Which means his clear is really weird. That also means he cleared two first. Which means he's going to be super slow to blue side. He was there on the river, though. Just as maidenless as when he was in mid. It's the best matchup against Argusi. Do you mean to play into him or, or what? Or for him to play into? Are he's getting a hard nerf? It's not even that big of a nerf, honestly. I don't think he really needed that big a nerf to begin with, though. I actually don't think he's that OP. He's strong, but he's not OP. Like, Belica, I think, is OP. And, like, unfun to play against. Just, like, by design. Argus is just strong. People are just mad that he has CC. Which is fine, I guess. He's definitely above average, but he wasn't OP. In my opinion. To play against him, I think Howitzer is probably the best matchup. But, like, Faye's pretty decent into him, as long as you don't get your ult pillared. But if he ever tries to pillar you and then walk at you, you, you can trade your E, like, max range. If you get, like, two E's on him, you can punish him for trying to pillar. It's very, actually, it's kind of difficult to actually pillar the ult correctly. That's, like, the only thing you really have to watch out for. And then, uh, Belica, obviously. Self-explanatory. Those are probably, like, the three best. You can't say Bellica's a good matchup, because she's just a good matchup into everybody. Except for Howitzer. So, like, I don't think that really counts. Didn't Faye get buffed with range? Next patch. I'm pretty sure that's a reversion, though. I'm pretty sure they nerfed the range on it at some point, if I'm not mistaken. It was when they sped it up. It used to be, like, kind of slow. I'm pretty sure they sped up the speed, and then they decreased the range slightly. It was a long time ago, though. I'm, like, pretty confident that's just a revert. Not that, like, I really care, but... Decker and Argus just sound like, why, the, why would you play that mid? That sounds terrible. Playing a scaling mid into a pressure matchup, that's terrible. He outscales you and he outpressures you, that's terrible. In mid. Support, it's like, whatever.
feel like that mana drain isn't nearly effective enough. You know what the best mana drain is? Knocking them up and then sending them back to base in one combination. Typically the best mana drain you can get. That puts them to zero, believe it or not. Train these. What did you mean by that? Uh, my stuff is Q. That's actually so big. Just such a hard winning trade. Actually, pick up River. He doesn't have it on him. Oh, they're fucking Argus is here. I wasn't sure if she was sick, so I actually have to flash. I wasn't really paying attention to her level. Yeah, he wasted the slot win. Two people have won slots actually in the past like 10 minutes. Like Bellic is OP or drone hits abilities for you. Like, if you're missing Bellic ults, I don't know what to tell you. Probably shouldn't be playing the game. I need river pretty bad. Ever missed about like all you have tried like game? She has GoPro confirmed. It's very impressive. Impressive. That's hilarious. He flashed into my pillar. Absolutely hilarious. I think he drops down on me. Any rafflers? Any rafflers? Supplement all the fucking slot losses. Holy. The stun! Toasty's actually him! Toasty's 110% getting the next low 5 in tabletop. I 
fucking whiffed. I overshot it, bro. I just gotta be wary that Morgash walking in. I'm ready to open. I'll take it. Best I can do. Well, I had like slightly more cooldown, man. Oh, that's such a good fight. You win the raffle, let's go W. Bro, hella people join that. I'll run one more, why not? Fuck it. Not for as much though. Oh shit, that was way more than I thought it was. Fuck. <laughs> they got it capped it, bro. One extra zero on that was not supposed to be there. <laughs> they got it capped it. Take the cap off? No, dude. What the fuck? In fact, I gotta join that one. What's the cap at? 100,000. I was gonna do 30,000, I typed 300 by accident. Trying to prevent twigflation. Good man. Can I extra zero to your next me? Honestly, every time I type it in, I get scared I'm gonna do that. I'm not even gonna lie. No way I didn't win. Criminal. I don't know if I'm marked. If I am, I'm dead. Should be rolling in it. He can't keep getting away with it. Do you know it'd be sick though? A lot of people hit join. If you haven't typed, type anything. Might unlock some more VIP slots. You never know. We gotta be close. Surely. Surely we're close to 100 people in five minutes. We gotta be close, right? More VIP slots. Yeah, if I have 100 people chatting within 5 minutes, I get, uh, like, 30 more slots or something like that. Hello, everybody. It's actually a lot harder than you might think. The closest I've gotten was 71. At one time. We'll run, we'll run one more raffle. Why not? Fuck it. We bowl. No, what the hell? He hates me. I have no mana. You guys have fun. Plus, I'm back in for Tainted, tainted Scepter. Just run? Where are we running to? We running away like a love story? I'm on the way. Somebody on top rope? Yeah.
played. Just two in a row, there's no fucking way, man. And else in chat hate socks? What do you mean? I'm teachable. Bro, I can play the character. I just don't play him a lot. Like, I wasn't practicing him a lot because I thought he was kind of cringe. I still think he's kind of cringe, but like... I mean, he's not like unplayable. I just have to learn how to play differently with the right click because it's not fucking a toggle. Toggle. Whatever the fuck you want to say, man. I don't care, man. Leave me alone. I'm from the best Argus in chat. You still need to learn how to build. Even after I explain to you how to build, you still want to argue. I will say, though, if you are ADC, I would give a little bit of extra merit to your build because you do have to hold your right click on every objective perma. So, like, in that regard, I'll give you a little bit of, like, okay. In that sense, I can see it. In mid, though, there's no way you ever build that shit. Well, see, you're not supposed to play, like, you're not supposed to perma hold right click. You're supposed to just spam abilities and be a little freak. Miss a third shot, bro. Pain. Ten billion means permanent movement speed. Yeah, but like, I don't think right leggings is bad. I don't. But there's no way right leggings is better than just spamming stuns. Was that crest usage? I don't know. Are you trying to get his E up again? Yo, what's up, H09? How are you doing today, man? Hope you're on a fantastic Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, right? Tuesday? Sorry, Tuesday, Tuesday. I forgot that the maintenance was today. They're doing the maintenance, so I thought it was Wednesday for some reason. I don't know why. I didn't miss he dodged it. My bad. Should have been lock on. If it was Bellacall, I would have hit him. Do you know what you should do? Cause I got nothing else to do and I'm bored. Cause uh, servers are gonna go down. Well, I'm not bored currently cause I'm playing, but like when servers go down, I'll be bored. Maybe we just tier list next PCC on the meme. I mean, what the fuck else am I gonna do? I'm not gonna CK3 stream. It's that or I stop streaming. And then maybe stream later today, I'm not sure. I don't really want to do that. Saw this game for an hour. I think if they close servers, I'll get kicked out. Not 100% though. Might not. I need 100 gold. You'll tier list it? Bet. I need to gather all the names though. I need to gather the teams. Because I don't know who's been scrimming and who hasn't. I'm not, I wasn't sure if he was in range. I actually hit the knockup on that guy. You are not worthy I'm Oom. I can't be there. I tried. Trim smite too, yeah, if only it was out. Two stone thing for the follow. Okay, Cord, thank you for the resub, by the way. I didn't see that 10 minutes ago. I appreciate it. We've been at the for three months, man. 
I was not egoing, I swear. I did not see that. I promise. Who had Ed on a team? It's a good question. He's about to go out 26 just like his draft pick in the BFC tourney. That was criminal. I think that was honestly the funniest thing I've of the tournament. Bruh. Fucking criminal. Is it possible to play together? I don't really play with people. No. It didn't show for BFC. He told me that he made it. He said he was just late. He was like eight minutes late or something like that. He told me that he made it. Ezekiel catching strays. What did Ezekiel do? Ezekiel. We didn't have 100 people. We had 80. 80 people typing at once. We were 20 short. That's a, that's a new peak, though. That's a new peak for people typing. I had to check. Time for obliteration. Hop Goblin, thank you for the follow. Type more. Well, it's already past that five minute mark, so it had to be a new set of five minutes. I tried though. Sorry, maybe we'll get it on like launch or something. The stun on Grogs. I think that was a stun by the Norb, not by me. Good bozo. It's so free, man. The time flux value, dude. Actually insane. Like, actual insanity that I just got away with that. Time flex is Phoenix, prove you wrong. Time flex actually like isn't even bad. It's just too hard to actually use effectively because like you have to be in range to use both combos and you have to just not get engaged on immediately after using it, which is what'll happen. I mean I'm just gonna wait for my ult and he's just gonna die. Fuck did he go? I'm ready to oh, he's all the way down the lane. What the fuck? All right, crazy. I'll tell you what. Just for you, I'll build right leggings. Flux Gideon looked the best using that crest. I mean, there's a few characters that can utilize it, but it's more of a meme item. It's not that, it's not actually like that usable. The problem with it is that when you play as a mage, you want to cast your abilities, but you have to be within range. But again, you have to not be. So like if you're Gideon, you want to kind of pop it and then portal in. But if you're in range to portal, you're engaged, like you're in range to get gone on as soon as like 
you know, they see the time flux. So, like, you're going to portal in, you'll reset, and then you're immediately getting engaged on. And if they're already on top of you, you can't portal away. Since they remove the super jump, it's, like, a lot harder to actually do. Really feel like it does the damage. I mean, do the damage anyways, right? Ain't no way in hell I'm building fucking a Zerk War, though. That shit is ass. Don't even ask. I think this is a good game predators on maintenance. I mean, it's 20 to 20. How, how better, much better do you want me to make it? They shouldn't finish Zerkor in the first place, because finishing doesn't actually give you a lot of benefit. You get a little bit of cooldown, and you get like 40 power. Which for the price is not worth it. Compared to just finishing another item. Grush and I have a great time. I mean, he did pick Grux into like... Gadget, Richter, Narbash. Argus doesn't seem like a good Grux comp. Pretty big reason why Grux has not played a lot at a high level. We'll farm this out. On paternity leave, is it worth torturing yourself on Pred? Pred's currently on maintenance, I believe. Also, congratulations. Is that Grux is Gruxin? Why is that guy still alive? Tell me that didn't kill. Oh, I hit a minion, I think. Never mind. Second kid is not one plus one. It feels like seven. Well, shit. What does the fifth kid feel like? 69? <laughs> shit, I did there. Bro, I got fucking silenced. I hate drawing a grenade. Where's Simba? What happened to Simba? I'm measuring a turn shit four and it feels like four. <laughs> Alright, so what you're saying is you should have more kids? Gotcha. Grady's middle name. <laughs> It's not an easy road. Jungle's pretty easy to play, I'm gonna be honest. Look, I thought jungle was harder to play than it might have been, but after subbing one time for chefs in jungle, I realized that role is easy as fuck in comp, and you guys are actually just incompetent. I don't know what to tell you.
Or you could say it's 10k MOBA hours. That's just kind of like a cope, honestly. You just click your buttons correctly. Like, you just play the... Like, the map doesn't change just because you're in a different role. Or whatnot. You just, like, you play the same way. That's 10k mid hours. Ah, oh, dude, that feels so bad for him. a soul play right there oh i see a red buff you know i'm feeding for that shit it's red it's red So the thing is, I don't feel like I'm getting any benefit from the movement speed. Like, it, the kills that I would be getting with the movement speed, I would be getting anyways. That's a, that's my thing. Maybe that's why I don't like it. Boot speed is super good for uh, kiting and team fights. Well, I feel like if somebody's on top of you, you're dead anyways. Because you're right clicking. If you're right clicking, you're slow regardless. Like I don't know. I don't feel like it's necessary. Like I feel like you're kiting with CC as opposed to kiting. Like having cooldown to kite with CC, I think, is more valuable. But I don't know. Because the the item that you swap is tainted or or uh, time warp, which is cooldown. So like, no matter what, you're swapping cooldown. So like, I don't know. 